Hello beautiful and not so beautiful people of the world. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be showing you six spots on yacht that are pretty helpful for both both attacking and defending because most of the, or all of these actually you could do as you by yourself. But these first two are going to be at outside and you can do these as attackers. But for this one you just want to vault up there like you saw me. And you just want to, you know, shimmy your way up there. Why am I moving my hand? You can't see this. I wish you could see my hand, but you shimmy your way up there. Just as you see me. And eventually, once you get high enough up, you'll be able to vault over this glacier or whatever it is. This block of snow. But once you're up here, you can see into uh, the bedroom area if you shoot it open. Okay, now, if you get back up there, oh god, yeah, okay, I'm cold, but once you get up there, there's another thing you can do from up here, which I don't think is as useful for an actual game, but you can come over here. Actually, that can be useful in a game, because you could see into, uh, what's it called, the Aqualark subroom from here, but there's also this invisible barrier you can have fun with. So yeah, that's going to be that spot. Can. <laughs> oh god. Now, this next spot is going to be outside also, and this one can help you more, I, th I think, as an attacker. But you just want to vault onto this rail. Now you want to be careful about this one because it is really easy to fall off. If you see, when I vault, it pushes me off the edge, but I have to run like in the middle of the air back onto that. But if you do fall, then <laughs> you're stuck forever. You don't even die if you fall down that area. But you can see into the these two rooms that I'm looking into. I don't think you could really see into anything else. But I'm just going to show you me hopping around this iceberg, glacier, titanic, or whatever. Now, since this one is pretty easy to do, I do like to do it in Michael Myers. You know, but I haven't really played Siege in a while, which is another reason why I'm not making these videos, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But this next one, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have found, but I haven't really seen this anywhere on YouTube. And there's still a lot of people that don't know about this for some reason. But, yeah, you just pretty much do exactly what you saw me do. It's like the easiest thing in the world. But, um, this next one is going to be more of something that actually helps you in a rank. Like, I've used this in a rank a ton of times, and I think I've only died a few times. But, this one you just want to either break this urn or whatever it is right here or break the th um, freaking iceberg or whatever icicle right beside me so you could break one or the other or both but for some reason when people look into this room they never check this corner so you can use that to your advantage except for if people come from that window directly across from me but you can have to hope they don't but for this one this one I actually like I think I might actually use this one in ranked if I ever play Siege again. Unranked. I probably will after I'm done playing the Division, but... This one, I thought you needed to do second person for, but no, you could just do it by yourself like that. But, uh... Yeah, so this is this spot, and this next one... It isn't so much of a spot, it's just some... It's like an angle you can use. Ooh, 420, but... Uh, so you just want to shoot some stuff out of the stairs as you can see me, but you don't want to make it so obvious at the stairs, maybe just create like a little single hole, but I don't have any ammo. But you can see through that, and if you shoot into this one, then you can also see through this one. Which you can use to your advantage if you're attacking the casino room and you have a thermite. Or, or a habana, either or will work. Uh, if you create this angle, then you can see through to the what's it called to the window. 
but uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this entire video. I'm just going to start talking about what I've been doing. So, what I've been doing over the past week and a half, the reason why I haven't been uploading like I should have been was because, as you can see in the clips that I've started to put at the start of my videos, I'm kind of addicted more to The Division than I have been to Siege. So, if you actually want me to make another video doing this stuff, then just hit the like button, because if I receive a lot of support, then I want to know that I have a reason to do this. But, thanks for watching, this is gonna be it.